Hey there, this is Jeff, and I'm here just to give a quick overview of how to get up and running with Spike uh, starting from zero. So happy you're here to check this out, and uh, we'll start by just hitting the command line and installing it. You can install it using npm, um, and you want to install it globally with this G flag just because Spike comes with a convenient template generator that will get you started with some starter templates and a variety of other templates that can be used depending on your preferences. Uh, so I already have it installed, um, so I'm not going to bother putting you through uh, watching NPM do its thing. Um, and I'm just going to get started right away with creating a new site. So I'm just going to run spike new, and then I put the name of the folder I want to put it in on my desktop. I'll just use example for this. Once you do this, it'll pull down the template and ask you a couple questions. So I'll call this example project, and I'll say a cool spike example. And finally, I'll say static dev. And um, yeah, we'll take our production. OK, so the next thing it's going to do is it will install all your dependencies. As you know, if you used NPM before, this will take um, a few seconds. So I'm just going to open a new tab and go into uh, the folder and open it up in the text editor so we can start checking it out. OK, cool. Um, so here we are. And uh, you could see that we've defaulted to this app.js file. Uh, the node modules look like they just finished installing, which is good. Um, just a quick overview of this. Um, assets, CSS, images, and JavaScript go in here. This is our dependencies. Uh, this is just a quick test uh, just to show how you could get started with some testing. Um, this first one just verifies that it compiles without issue. Uh, in here in the views are a couple of view templates, and we'll talk about this view template language in a later video. But for now, you can assume that this is pretty similar to uh, what used to be Jaden is now Pug. Um, and it's very easy to switch to different syntax without losing any functionality if you want. So if you're not into white space HTML, it's no problem. Uh, it's easily changed. Um, here are just some basic meta files, uh, setting node version, git ignores, uh, editor config for consistency, uh, and Travis file if you want to run continuous integration. Um, we've got the package JSON here, which again is sort of a standard node thing. Um, and then in here, the app.js file is our configuration. And so again, we'll, we'll go into more detail on the configuration and such. Um, in a future video, and also you can find a lot more details about it on our documentation site, which you can uh, go ahead and just click on this Docs button to get to. And there's a pretty full overview of uh, what Spike is and how it's made, and specifically here in the app.js file, it describes all these options. Um, so that's very helpful if you're wondering about them. And then here's our production app.js, which is just uh, for the production environment. Here we do no source maps, and we hugify. <clears throat> our JavaScript. So um, to get started, what I can do is just run uh, npm start. Or if you want, you can also use the global spike install to run spike watch. Either one of those will do just about the same thing. npm start will use the local version. Um, so what this will do is it'll compile our site up, generate it into static files, and then it will pop it open in a browser for us and show the HTML. Um, so this looks pretty good so far. Um, I'm just going to jump into our views and make some changes quickly. So let's just get rid of all this stuff here and just do a simple paragraph. So as soon as I save that file, it will reload the site and change it to our styles. And of course, this works the same way for um, any styles that we want to put in. If we just do, uh, say, I want to change this to red, it will uh, reload and change to red for us. So we get all this nice convenience and development. Um, and basically, that's that's where to start. Um, you could start running your CSS here. Uh, you could start putting JavaScript into this file. And then you can uh, make your views and your content in here. So this is just a very simple introduction of how to go from zero to compile. And we'll go into a little bit more detail in future videos. And of course, you can always read about the detail in the docs on uh, how to kind of branch out and get into more advanced functionality. I hope this is helpful. And we'll see you in the next video.